Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, this is just the introduction, so if you're looking for your main reading for your, you know, whatever your birth chart says, your rising, your ascending, your moon, your Jupiter, your Venus, whatever that is, go down here to the um, description. There is a timestamp. It should take you right to there. Now, I hope you watch this at least once. Now, I am using for the main readings, I will be using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I will pull one, hopefully, from my John Holland um, Tarot and Oracle cards. I will follow up with my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for this reading, I will be using my traditional Weight Rider Tarot and my... Colette Baron read the Good Tarot. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? So I told you that we are, I'm going to go to my notes, that we are in Leo season right now. So here we go with Leo season. That will be starting on July 22nd at 4.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So that will be on the 22nd. That is this Friday. And again, happy birthday to all the Leos. Now, let's see what we have going on here. Um, on the 19th, Mercury did enter into Leo at 8.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Mercury is uh, communication, is about electronics, Expect some powerful energies, powerful revelations to come through that. July 28th, uh, Jupiter, we're not quite there yet, but uh, Jupiter, which is in Aries, will go retrograde. So there is a really good chance for positive energy, positive rebuilding type of energy. Now, a couple of things about this end of July into August. So we have um, something called on July 25th, we have something that is called the day out of time. Now, this is according to the Mayan calendar. With the Mayan calendar, calendar um, on the 24th, that is the end or the culmination of the 13 moon calendar. So that year ends on the 24th. The new year, and again, this is Mayan calendar, starts on the 26th. So the 25th, which will then be Monday and you know, this is this is interesting day. This day is charged with spiritual energy. It allows a more intense uh, connection with the spiritual world, and actions will be well received by the universe. So then we start the 26th, which was again that would be Tuesday, and that is something called the opening of the Lion's Gate. Now. There's lots of different information about that. You can look that up. A lot of these times, you know, they're considered these portals. And, you know, portals aren't just on our solstices, aren't just on our, you know, um, just aren't on those special days. These are portals where the thinning, where the veil thins between us and them. And, you know, so the 25th is, again, one of those days. The 24th, like I said, for the Mayan uh, calendar, end of the year. 26th, the beginning of the year. So the 24th, uh, July 24th will be Sunday. Now, uh, interesting times. And I do you know, remember there is something I've been talking about the 1st of August and the 2nd. Now, it's also the 31st too. Uranus, is going to be, is, which has been in Taurus, and that's been about expect the unexpected. It's going to be doing some interesting uh, change up. So when it says expect the unexpected, well, if you expect it, it's not going to be unexpected. So interesting stuff, the end of July, beginning of August. So lots of stuff happening with this one. Anyway, let's see what we've got. Let's go ahead and see what higher power, Holy Spirit. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to Holy Spirit and ask, you know, that only what is needed come through. And these cards are just kind of going all over the place. Let's see what we've got here. So higher power, God, Holy Spirit. What does everyone need to know about what's going on in the universe, in the world? And remember, this is why the individual readings are important. Whatever is going on in the world, we still have to live our lives. We still have to go forth. 
And we need to be bold. We need to be bold. We, live, we need to live without fear. So let's see what we have. Because remember, yes, fear is a tool. Not, not just the tool. It is a tool of what, you know, of the devil, of the dark energies. Okay. So let's see what we have here, my light workers, my spirit, uh, my star seeds. Let's see what we have here. And I do talk about that. Um, periodically so I have so the people that have been watching know what I'm talking about with that so we're gonna put three cards down let's see what we've got here okay first card okay reversed cards have a stronger energy so now we have the lovers it is reversed um, now some people will say some readers will look at the lovers and say it's the opposite. I look at it as something that's got a little bit more impact, a little bit more power to it. So we have a six here. Six, and the numbers are important too. Six, everything's important. If you're paying attention, and that's the thing, we need to pay attention to the signs and symbols, and we need to always work with them in the higher good. Okay, so six is the number of man. It is the energies you put into something. It is the outcomes that you are looking for, um, but it is, again, how are you approaching something? If you're approaching it um, half-baked, then you're going to get something that's half-baked. If you're putting a lot of effort into it, there will be a reward. It might not always be the reward you're looking for, but there will be something that comes from that. Now, I am feeling very much the sun energy here. Again, Leo, the sun, it, you know, the sun is very big for Leo energy. I, you know, and so the first thing that I'm looking at is that sun. The sun is shining. Now, there is also a divine entity. The divine entity is covering the man and the woman, is looking at the man and the woman. The man looks at the woman. And the woman looks up at the divine. So it is kind of a trinity type of energy. It is a joining together type of an energy. Uh, the lovers doesn't always mean that you're going to find love. But the lovers does mean to me that you're going to find the truth about love. Okay? So at least that's what I'm getting right now for this card. There is, again, the sun shining energy. So this is very important. This is very uh, part of this portal energy happening. Uh, again, there might be, there. and remember, too, we all have a masculine and feminine side to us. Um, you know, some people will say it's the right brain, left brain. Some people will say it's the estrogen, testosterone. Uh, but we all have a little bit of both. So this, there's a lot of feminine there's the feminine energy, which is searching, searching for something more, searching for something that's in that divinity. The masculine energy is looking for something in the now. So there's, and it doesn't mean that the man is doing this or the woman is doing this. I'm saying this is in all of us. So we do have to come to a reconciliation on how we look at the, you know, we look at that divine, we look at that supernatural, yet live in the natural. But the lovers, um, the lovers does have some, um, it does have a feel that there is, there is more going on than meets the eye. There is, you know, their relationship, again, Mercury in Leo, there could be some honesty coming out in relationships. Um, you know, it's, it could be, it doesn't necessarily have to be very harmonious, but it's, it's one thing in order for the sun to shine, it's going to have to really, um, shine on those dark areas that we may not want to see, that we may not want to reveal. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, now we come to the Four of Cups. And it's interesting that we have a 5-1 and then a 1-5. Don't know, don't know why, but that, that just is something that's popping at me too. The Four of Cups is that in-between time, is that, you know, I'm not necessarily, you know, well, Cups in itself is our Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. We just left Cancer energy. A lot of still Pisces and Scorpio. Neptune, I think Neptune is retrograde in Pisces right now. Scorpio is that south node energy too. So there is, you know, Cups is fluid. It is romantic. It's very spiritual. So there might be some people, and I'm, I'm kind of picking up on that spiritual energy right here, maybe because it's next to that uh, lover's um, you know, this might be these people, you know, the people, the energies that we just don't really know what to believe, what to, be, you know, what to go for. Um, you know, when we look at this, you know, the, um, the three cups down here, the person does not look really uh, positive about it, just kind of looks like, 
uh, this is the cards I'm dealt with, but then there is this divine energy, divine hand bringing a fourth cup. So again, I feel like this is an in-between spot, but it is, it's kind of like, what do we even believe? What are we supposed to believe? Where are we supposed to go? You know, I'm, you know, seeing is believing, but that yet this is coming. So is this about having faith? Is this about, um, you know, believing in something more than what we can, net, what we can see? I don't know, just getting this in-between uh, vibe for this weekend. Okay, last card here. Well, this is lovely, and this one is reversed also. So this is a three. So three has our, you know, three is our creativity. It is celebratory. It's also the power of three. You say something, do something. You get, you know, you get um, two of your buddies with you, three of you. You say, you know, you do it. You put it into that universe. I send it on to God, Holy Spirit. Um, you know, I like to, I like to direct it exactly to someone. But this is, you know, there's power in these numbers. There's power in the energies. There's powers in your power in your voice. Again, this is cup energy, that spiritual energy, that fluid energy. But this is about celebration. This is about, you know, figuring things out. This is about loving and caring. So we start with some, um, I don't know, some maybe some searching energy here, searching for love, searching for. Um, you know, more than what we are, searching for that spirituality, kind of coming to grips between the masculine and the feminine of ourselves or of others. We come to the, we have this in between, what do we really believe? Where do we really go with this? What, you know, seeing, is seeing really believing? Is there faith? Is, you know, should I be expecting? And then we end with this very celebratory, let's raise this up. Now there is the feminine energy here. And, uh, you know, so again, so maybe the search is, um, you know, the search is rewarded. Okay. I don't know. We went a little bit more in that spiritual, but you know what? This is, you know, that we're, we're in that time. We're coming to, at least to the Mayan calendar, we're coming to that end of the world. Not the end of the world, <laughs> the end of the year. Oh, my goodness. Um, so it's, um, but even if it was the end of the world is at the end of the world that we ourselves know. It's not, it's not the end of the earth. It is not the end of the earth. But it could be the end of what we know and things are changing. But that three of cups is, it's a good change. It is a good change. Okay, let's see what we have here. What we have here with our, yes, I have to look, Colette Baron Reed. Here we go. Higher power, what do you have? What do you want to say? That card kind of poking out, but I think I really want to pull another card out too. Higher power, what do you want to say to us? Here we go. Okay, let's see what these are. Well, interesting enough, we have a 16. And now this is a major arcana energy. This is the tower energy. This is the everything comes down in order for things to be rebuilt energy. This is the re revelation. This is the reveal of, of, of where the cracks are, the reveal of what's going on. This, there's a lot of, um, you know, again, there's a lot of reveal here. Now, the interesting, now we have a one. So again, you know, those ones were kind of popping. I know they're Roman numerals. I know that's a three, but the, the ones were kind of popping for me. So we have a one, which is a new beginning. And we have the 10 plus six, 10 is transitional energy. Six is, again, the number of man. It's what you put into it. But if you add the one and six together, it becomes a seven. And that is divine. That's a divine number. That is a divine umbrella. That is a divine covering. So no matter what is going on, no matter what, again, remember, I said, have no fear. Have no fear. There is a divine covering. Even if it seems rocky, even if it seems like, you know, there is no hope, there is always hope. Have no fear. But again, this is the tower. This is a major arcana. Now our next card here, the one that, this is the one that kind of just fell, kind of was like out there. Now let's see what we have here. We have the four of fire. Now the four of fire is a joyful time also. So we have some joyful energies here. The fours are stability. It's leadership. It's also organization. Fire is our Leo energy. It is our Aries energy. It is our Sagittarius. It's passionate. It's burning. It's very determined energy. 
this is you this card is generally about celebration again but in a more passionate manner so we have the spiritual celebration and now we have the passionate celebration we have the weddings we have the um you know the happier time so even though there might be some of this this you know this disgruntled energy here this what's going on energy there is hope there is more coming for us so again so that is our fire energy now the two energies we did not talk about i'm looking at her too just just um you know i just feel like there's joyful there is joyful energy here there is this positive energy and it could be again remember you are our spirit you are our spirit workers our light workers our star seeds we are in this together. We're, you know, we have to make sure that we keep our vibrations high. And I feel like this is a high vibration energy. High vibration, and sometimes the high vibrations is what brings down the tower. You know, you think about, you know, the, um, you know, there, there's, there's, there's things in, you know, scriptures and such like that that talk about high vibrations bringing things down, bringing things down that needed to be brought down. So we need to make sure that we keep our vibrations extremely high, no matter what it is we, what it is we are seeing with our natural eyes. Okay, so something, something interesting with this weekend. I don't know, you know, like I said, according to the Mayan calendar, um, you know, end of the year. So, um, but then that 25th is that day without that day outside of time so interesting stuff um let me know what you're thinking about this let me know who reads this a little bit differently or you know just make some comments thank you anyway also too this is important take a moment please to like share subscribe click on that bell for notifications you keep me you keep me inspired and you that's why i keep doing this so I thank you for that. Now, why don't we start our readings? Hello, my Scorpios, my sweeties. How are you doing? Uh, I feel like you're a little bit more on the emotional side lately. So just feeling things very deeply, you know. Part of that is just kind of getting rid of a lot of old junk. Okay, so let's see. We are now in Leo season, so let's see how that's going to fare for you. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's go on. What higher power for our Scorpios? I do, you know, I do get a lot of the, um, scooping out, scooping out, kind of that, uh, you just scooping out and throwing away, throw away. Anyway, um, and being emotional can actually help you with that. So don't be afraid, don't be afraid to let your emotions out. Of course, <laughs> be appropriate with it too. Be appropriate. You don't want to, uh ruin relationships for whatever reasons and once said once things are said it's hard to take that back and it's hard to forget and sometimes even though i do say it forgiving is something that helps and it does but it's, sometimes it's hard to forgive okay so let's see what we have for my scorpios for the weekend now was that for all of leo season or was that just for the weekend we will see let me know okay so let's put that there put that there okay three cards first card reversed two of water so this is emotional energy so twos are crossroads joining together water is your energy pisces and it's also cancer it's fluid it's emotional very spiritually connected also so this is, you know, it is again, you know, there is partnership energy here. There is a spiritual connection energy with this, with this going on here. This could be a romantic one, but it's just something where people click with you. You, you just know, you just know that this is the person that you need to be with at this time. Now, could this be, you know, could be this be one of those soulmates, twin flame type of weekend? It could be. Be, and you know I don't necessarily go down that romantic path too often um, just because you know it, it is something that's very um, very unique to everybody but this could be one of those times now when that happens it could be meeting that connection but it also could be that you come together so that you can learn something that you need to learn and then move forward from there too okay but this does have a lot of connection it does have a lot of that spiritual energy with it. 
it could be definitely one of, it could be definitely one of those times for the you know for connecting with that special person okay do i believe in soulmates do i believe in twin flames yes i do yes i do do i believe that every time um we are incarnated here we meet up with them i feel like we meet up with them um when we need to but it doesn't mean that we're going to stay with them the entire time while we are incarnated here sometimes we're not ready and sometimes they're not ready anyway the two of water if i can get this straightened a relationship that continues to grow closer forgiveness the powerful resolution the positive resolution of a conflict again remember what i was saying is you know with you know you can feel your feelings but remember be careful with your words next card is the knight of air so knights knights are directional knights will go where you lead them to go as i'm trying to get this to tighten up here we go knights you know they you you say let's do this this is what's going to happen knights underlying energy because court cards have two energies one is what you see on the card but the underlying for knights is fire it is our leo sagittarius and our aries leo and, and aries have stuff going on right now um, it is passionate burning very determined it is fire energy now remember air and fire can be very explosive air and fire can make things very big very quick now the night of air is usually about hearing news and having to make you know make some very quick decisions you know kind of like where am i going to go what am i going to do what am i going to decide with this so it might have remember two decisions night of air is hearing news and you have to act on it much much quicker than maybe you are even ready for so it might be you know, and it might be one of those times maybe you meet that person and all of a sudden it's like oh my gosh i wasn't ready oh my gosh what am i going to do it's just overwhelming it's very big it's very quick and you need to make some sort of decision with this you need to act upon it and sometimes not acting is still acting okay so but it just feels very big with this anyway intelligent decisive idealistic and tireless events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options creative solutions so there is something but again like this is decision is it, what decision it's like and this is like it's in your face you got to do something what are you going to do let's see what this card says the empress now i love the empress the empress to me is the feminine divine energy this is archangel gabriel gabriel um, is the divine messenger will bring you peace will bring you the you know bring you news of something okay we have that three energy so we have a two and a three three is celebrations three is um you know is um creativity three is the power of three the empress wants to give to you wants to be abundance wants to provide for you now the empress's energy is a little bit more erratic it's just kind of like it's it's you know it's raining type of energy but positive stuff all, all over you uh, and it's what are you going to do with it what is the possibilities where is you know so this there could be some really big news it could be very universal energy it could be very um like this is what i've been waiting for this is what i've been wanting it could have something to do with this two of water energy which could have that you know could be that romance that you're looking for that or that romantic i shouldn't say romance per se as that partner that you've been looking for but whatever it is it does happen quite quickly and there is a um, blessing the arc the empress and archangel gabriel there is a blessing over it too so lavish abundance give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others something big this is a big energy this is a big energy my scorpios let me know please what this is about for you and again very fast very fast energy too it's like wow i was not expecting that now you know that it would kind of drops in your lap type of energy something drops in your lap so let's see john holland psychic tarot and oracle what we have for our scorpios here here we go here we go the third eye chakra so here we have a six so we have a two three six six number of man um, the energies you put into something 
third eye chakra. Chakras are your spiritual centers. Now, they're, sor- they're sources. We have a lot of chakras. There are seven that people um, mainly um, talk about, know. And, you know, from the heart to the crown is your more your spiritual. And the heart, again, to your root or base is more your physical. The heart has a double, pla- you know, is, is in both. But the third eye chakra, located here, your pineal gland, um, your very small little gland, uh, but at the same time you want to make sure you take care of it. It is your knowing. It is your um, spiritual awareness. It is your, you know, your intuition. So there is this, you know, so between this empress and the third eye chakra, it's really pay attention. And a lot of a lot of the readings, because, you know, once I left cancer season, water season, went to Leo season, cancer, the water season went towards the end of the readings. So um, a lot, not all, not all, but a lot of the readings have been about following and listening to your intuition. But this is really paying attention, paying attention to because, you know, like I look at the crown chakra as kind of an escalator that goes, you know, the two escalators that go up and down. But this is your receiver. This is your, you know, you you pray, you meditate, you let out, you know, what it is you're, you know, you're asking for uh, to the empress, to higher power, Holy Spirit. And then this is where you get your answers. This is where you get your direction. Okay, so pay attention, listen to your intuition, because there's interesting, of course, it's always interesting, but that two of water keeps grabbing my eyes. And again, is that somebody new coming to your, your into your life? But it, or if you have somebody already in your life, it doesn't mean a disruption. It just it could mean that that relationship goes that next step. It's a very these are very positive stuff. So you, these are taking a positive next step taking the next step in that relationship. But listen to your intuition. If it's if there's some red flags out there, whoa! But if the flags are all green, ah, it could be go. Okay, uh, let's see what we have here for our Scorpios. <laughs> what crystal or energy would be helpful for you? Here we go. A lapis lazuli. It's all about prophetic dreams, and this is releasing anger, serenity, and grace. And grace is when we receive, and we received gifts, but we really didn't deserve any of that. So interesting, interesting for you. This is a, this is one of those um, spiritually blessed weekends for you. Anyway, my Scorpios, take a moment to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. If you're not getting notifications and you've done that, then unclick and then click the bell again. As always, my Scorpios, know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.